Man's leg had to be amputated after the boating hit and run accident near the Volano Beach Bridge. Florida Fish and Wildlife, they've been investigating. Their agents say they've tracked down the owner of the boat who left the scene. But that doesn't mean much for the victims, all of whom had to go to the hospital. The man who lost part of his leg is Logan Carr from St. Augustine. Channel 4's Bakari Savage has more. Logan's girlfriend told us that the doctor said that because she put that tourniquet on his leg so quickly, it saved his life. But she says that he saved her life. He said, babe, I lost my leg. And just like that, a fun evening of fishing almost turned deadly. Billy Edmond continues to talk about the moments that she placed a tourniquet on her boyfriend's leg after a ski boat landed on top of their boat near the Volano Beach Bridge. Uh, if that didn't happen, he could have bled out and died. So they didn't know it was me that did it, but they said, whoever did that, you're lucky because you could have died. So I saved his life, but he saved mine too because when that boat was coming, he jumped over me to go scoop me up, to throw me out of the boat, but the boat hit, I'm assuming, too fast, and I fell inside the boat in a little, like, cubby hole, and he got out of the boat, and that's why I was trapped in. But if he wouldn't have moved me, they said that there's a good chance that I could be cut in half right now. Yeah. As Inman thinks more about what happened the night before, she doesn't understand why the boaters who hit them just left. Well, no, because the boat landed on top of our boat. And the boat that me and Logan got on, the, he gave, the, it was the guy that ran us over. He gave me the rope to tie off his leg. And he couldn't start his boat to bring us up to the, the boat ramp. And another boat ended up coming and bringing us to the boat ramp. And I don't know how he like left because I thought his engine couldn't start. But I guess when, once we got off the boat and we were gone, he was able to be feed somewhere else. I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, the local station. There is a GoFundMe account that has been set up to help with the victim surgeries and rehabilitations. If you would like to help the family, you, will, you can find the link to their page inside this article on newsforjax.com.